I love dogs and animals and yes, I just said animals. But I especially love pit bulls. Um I have been following all the magazines of Best Friends Animal Society. And I found a bunch of articles about pit bulls because some of you probably know and some of you probably believe it that pit bulls are kind of like a mean, terrible, vicious dog. They are not, I promise. I have pit bulls. You might have seen my video about my pit bull puppy named Haystack. He is precious. If you say he's mean, I will kill you. Kill you. Deal with it. Okay, so I just wanted to show you some of my articles I found from magazine as seen right here. Look at the dog on the front. It looks so happy. I love it. I should cut this out and make it a mask. I'll move this back because, yeah. Okay, so. This is a cat on the back of the article. Deal with it. Hold on, I have to find the first one. Oh, here is one of my favorite ones because it's a picture and it's just so precious. How could that face hurt anyone? Just look at him. He's precious and beautiful. I love him. I'm going to go right there. And then, here's a picture of a dog named Little Red. I don't know why, probably because it's fur color. He's precious. He's got a little white face. I love him too. Then, here's some articles about Little Red. Here's the first part of the article. He's precious. Yes, he is. I would sit here and read it, but I think that would take a while, and I stumble on my words a lot, so, yeah. And here's the rest of the article about him. And then, oh, yay, this part I will read. It's a Q&A about, about BDL, apparently, I don't know what that is, but it's about pit bulls, and, wait, no, not pit bulls. That's another one. It's not with me at the moment, but I will put it in another video. Yay. Okay, so these are questions and answers about dogs. Okay. Question one. What exactly is breed dis di discriminatory, di discriminatory legislation? Answer. BDL is any law that defines and treats one type of dog different, differently from another based on not on the dog's behavior or anything that they've done but simply on their breed these laws literally discriminate against certain breeds of dogs or dogs perceived to be those breeds like pit bulls for example and it used to be german shepherds and then it was oh what they're called there was one in my neighborhood i can't remember some other dog breed yeah that's it yeah Okay, question two. Why are breed discriminatory laws a bad police policy choice? Answer. There are three main reasons. First, BDL is a huge infringement on people's property rights. In the, and in the eyes of the law, dogs are property, even though we as animal lovers consider them so much more than that. They, we consider them family and friends, and we love them so much. Anyway, so, when the government restricts your ability to own certain types of dogs, that's an infringement on your fundamental property rights. Yeah, I, my cousins, they live in, um, I'm not going to say because they just might find me and kill me. Don't do that. I like life. Please. Do I like life? Yes. Sometimes. Come on, we've all said we hate life some. Don't lie. I know you have. Anyway. So they got their puppy Magic taken away, and he was a pit bull, and he was so precious. I loved him so much. And then they took him away because they're jerks. Anyway, second, the laws are in ineffective. Everyone wants safe and humane communities, but these types of laws fail to reduce the number of dog bites, which is why they do that sometimes, but it doesn't help. Trust me. Anyway, wait, where was I? I wrote this down because I have a terrible memory and 
gives me from my heart does not always help. So, hold on. Yes. And data from several studies show no decrease in dog bite incidents after BDL was passed. Finally, BDL costs a ton of money. We are spending, or not we are, but people are spending millions of dollars across the country on laws that not only do nothing to protect the public, they're harming responsible people who just want love and care for their dogs, which is sad. Sadly. Okay, last question. Last question? Yes. Yes. Okay, what's a better alternative to these breed discriminatory laws? The key to truly safe and humane communities are breed neutral dangerous dog laws that focus on the behavior of all dogs regardless of the breed or what they look like. These laws should include a provision that holds irresponsible dog owners accountable because they are causing the problems in the first place. This to to, to, prong, to prong approach has been proven to be effective in keeping communities safe. S A F E. And that's a precious dog. I don't know if it's pit bull or not, but it's cute. And then there's more kittens on the back. For you cat lovers out there. Another cat. Yes. I like dogs more personally, but you be you. And then how I got older, you know, like this. I love him. I should hang you on my wall. Okay, I need to do something with this empty wall right here. Can you imagine a bunch of dog posters right there? I think that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. I already have a dog poster over here, right by my door. It's a million dogs. I have that lighting in this part of the room. Turns. Things, people, dogs.